Hey there, I'm Indy. I'm a gamer and content creator, and Geekom sent me their new Geekom A6 Mini PC to check out. Look at how tiny this is. Somehow they managed to stuff 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD into this, so they've really proven that big things can come in small packages. Since it has some nice specs, the sky is the limit for what I can do with this PC. I was thinking maybe that I'd use it for video editing, streaming, or something cool like that, but then I decided I wanted to use it for fun instead. Due to its tiny profile and beefy power, this would make a great addition to my TV stand. So I want to explore how the Geekom A6 would work as a living room PC. Strap in, because I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff you can do with this. First of all, I think this would be the ultimate media center. Now, Indy, you might be saying, I already have a smart TV. Well, sure, smart TVs are great, but you don't have access to everything a computer has. You're limited to the apps that your smart TV has available. With a computer, you have access to the whole internet. If you own your movies digitally, you can store all your files in one place. If you have a DVD collection, you can plug a DVD drive into a USB port and watch them that way. If there is a service or a website that you want to watch a show on that doesn't have an app, nothing can stop you. You're not limited to your TV's app store, you've got access to pretty much anything. I remember when HBO Max first launched, we couldn't watch it at all because we watched our videos on a PlayStation, and we couldn't get the Max app until months later. If our media center was the Geekom A6 PC, we could have just gone to the Mac's website and watched it there. That said, you don't need to just watch streaming services with this thing. My wife uses our TV to watch TikTok more than Netflix. With a PC in the living room, the choice is opened up to so much more. Even though the Geekom A6 makes for a great media center, I'm much more of a gamer than a movie buff. With its 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte SSD, and AMD Ryzen 7 6800H, it would make for a killer emulation machine. This PC is less than one fourth the size of an NES, but it can play about every retro game that you can think of. Just download RetroArch from Steam or use your favorite emulators and the Geekom A6 should be able to handle the games of yesteryear without issue. Obviously the Geekom A6 can handle classic Nintendo games, but you can go all the way up to the N64 and even the GameCube without breaking a sweat. With its Bluetooth and USB support, you have endless options for controllers to use too. If you want to play some more modern games, the Geekom A6 can handle plenty of them. Its Radeon 680M integrated GPU manages to pack some decent power into a small package, allowing for some decent performance on today's best games. I strongly recommend using the Geekom A6 for smaller, less demanding titles. I love using it to play indie games like Stardew Valley and BC Ball. Games like these aren't too demanding, and the Geekom A6 can play them super smoothly. Minecraft is a great pick for this device too. This game runs on just about anything, but if you want to play the Java version in the living room, the Geekom A6 is a great way to do it. In fact, since it's a PC, you could even run a Minecraft server off this little guy. It's smaller, and it takes less power to keep on than your average gaming PC, so it is the perfect way to host a server. If you want to get into more resource-heavy games though, the Geekom A6 may start to struggle. While it fits plenty of power into a small package, there's limits to the magic Geekom can do. That said, just like how it supports streaming services, it supports streaming games too. Xbox Game Pass allows you to stream games from the cloud, including right to your Geekom A6. Plus, if you own a beefy gaming PC, you can still use the Geekom A6 to stream games through Steam Link. This way, you can take the power of your PC into the living room without hauling it out of your office. I wanted to experiment a little more with the Geekom A6 though. I wanted to add more power, but there's no way to fit more hardware into that tiny thing, right? Well. Have you ever heard of an eGPU? You can actually build a little contraption that lets you plug in a GPU to add a little extra power to your PC, but it needs high data transfer speeds to work. The back of the Geekom A6 includes a USB-C 4.0 port, which supports massive data transfer speeds. And this gave me an idea. I built an eGPU and plugged it into the USB 4.0 port. And now my Geekom A6 has the power of a 2060 Super. Sure. The eGPU is actually bigger than my PC itself, but my Geekom A6 is now a certified gaming machine. I'm able to run Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, a graphically demanding game, on high settings at 60 FPS, and it is gorgeous. This only scratches the surface of what you can do with a Geekom A6 mini PC though. They've really crammed so much power into a tiny box, making it the most powerful portable PC I have ever seen. While I'm mostly focused on watching media and playing games, 
I'm sure that there's something for everyone with this versatile PC. Be sure to follow Geekom on all their social platforms so you can get updates on the Geekom A6 and all their other neat hardware. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.